guys, what's up? It's Laura from Laura Marie Plans, and today I'm back with another weekly plan with me. This week I am planning June the 10th through the 16th in my Aura Estelle A5 Wide Planner using my Crest Press 2024 inserts. And this week I am planning for the week in America, which is known as Father's Day on June 16th on the second or third, I don't know, some Sunday of every June is Father's Day here in America. And so I'm using this artsy kit from a new to me shop called Apple Blossom Prints. Um, and then I did use a plethora of ice foil, mainly from Plan Hannah, but I did pull in some overlays, some Father's Day overlays from Plan With Me stickers as well. And for the underlays, I think they are the artsy ones from Plan Hannah. They're the like fun paint splatter plus paintbrush looking thing. And I did decide to go with this kit this week because like I said, it was Father's Day in America and Honestly, if I'm being real, my father does not give me vibes of the traditional American dad. Like, yeah, he works in the garage. Yeah, he grills. Yeah, he likes sports. But like, I feel like a lot of the kits and the art is such traditional American dad Father's Day art. Right, so maybe one day when and uh, if Jake is a father, I can use those kids for him. But I just don't get vibes of my own father, like my own immigrant father from most of the Father's Day kids. My dad is, however, super, super artsy. He is a retired architect. And with his time, he takes so many painting classes all the time. He's painting and that's just his hobby. He loves Chinese brush painting and watercoloring and literally everything. He's so good at it. His art is all around our house and it's like in art galleries across the DMV. Um, and they go for high prices. He doesn't sell them, but they go for really high prices when they're like on display for sale like sometimes they are but he doesn't just like sell them like normally even though everyone's always on his foot because he's one of those Facebook dads so everyone's always on his comments like oh my gosh can I buy a painting um but he did decorate my whole house which I really appreciate with his paintings and they're all beautiful so yeah um this this kit basically gave me vibes of my dad he is artistic AF and his favorite color is yellow. There's lots of yellow in this kit. And also his art studio just so happens to be our sunroom, which the sunroom in my parents' house is literally all windows. Like the walls are windows and the ceiling is windows. Like everything except the floor is windows. It's a full on sunroom. The one in this kit on the double box is not like that, but it totally gives me those vibes. And with the yellow color, I'm like, that would be my dad's dream if he did have this kind of art set up just in another environment slash house slash setting. So yeah, I just got the vibes of my dad from this kit. Um, I bought from Apple Blossom Prints because she did come out with my honor kit um, the, uh, my honor kit, the honor art from Painted Lilacs art. And so while I was picking it up, I saw this kit and was like, hmm, I'm going to try this for Father's Day. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. So this is the base in full with the ice foil. I love it. I did pull in some extra ice I had left over from Plan Hannah. And I just think it looks really cute with the Plan With Me sticker overlays. I am doing a voiceover for this because I have never used one of her or their I don't know their pronouns obviously I've never used one of their kits um and I was really struggling planning this I did initially talk through it so you'll see my hands move as if I'm talking but I did have to just nix that because there was a lot of dead space and I had no idea what I was doing this kit did have a lot of functional stickers and lots of full boxes and it was very usable um but it did kind of throw me off because the patterns were kind of weird they were like not subtle or way too subtle and then the like functional stickers weren't cut right so that was like peeing me oh but it is a very usable kit i just struggled talking through it and i did um change out the ice color that is the initial color for the navy 
which is a, normally the fourth color, just so that the ice color was just on Thursday in the sidebar, just because I did pull it in through the foil. So I felt like I was going to let it shine. But yeah, moving on to the day by day. On Monday, I ran errands with Jake. Um, I took We took Oliver to the dog park, and then he swam at this new dog park um, that we've been going to recently, but we never really knew how to access the water because it's quite rocky. But turns out you just wing it and go down the rocks and you hope to make it down there. And we did. And Oliver had a great time. It's really nice water. It's clean, which is always good. And yeah, it was really, really nice. And then we gave Oliver a bath because he was gross after. And I was in my feelings to say, which was another reason why I was like off this week. I ended up getting my period at the end of the week, but I was just feeling super off this week, just moody and depressed and like sad. And I didn't really realize I had such a shitty week until I was planning, sitting down and planning this and talking through it. And then as the week progressed, I was like, hmm, this wasn't a very good week. So just another reason to speed it up and make this go quickly and less painfully. Um... And I literally watched cooking shows every day of the week. So pretty much every day I use a food icon and some sort of TV time script. On Tuesday, I slept in again. Oh, I guess not again, but probably again. Um, I walked Oliver and then we took Ollie to go get Dole Whip. We like wanted to do something with him and we're like, what should we do? So we took him to go get Dole Whip which, I mean, he didn't get it, but Dole Whip is so good. It's so good. And we found a place near us that serves it. And I just am obsessed. And I like was telling Jake, cause we're going to Disney here and literally like a week we'll be in Disney from when I'm filming this, the week that you guys see this plan with me, I will be in Disney, um, for a day that week. But, um, I was telling Jake, like, you think this is good? Wait till you're in Disney. It's even better. Um, I planned and then I literally just watched cooking shows with Jake all night. Like what a day. Got ice cream, planned and watched TV and slept in. On Wednesday, I had to drive Jake to work this morning because he has a big company and they were having like an all hands meeting for, I don't know, it wasn't even for the whole company, but Apparently the parking garage, he was going to have to leave at like 7 a.m. for it to not be crowded. So I just drove him there in the morning so he didn't have to worry about that because um, he was going to be there all day. And then he was like going to a happy hour after. So I just drove him to work. And then after, since I was up, I was like, I'm going to get myself some McDonald's brekkie because McDonald's breakfast is just superior. I don't get McDonald's regular anymore, like right anymore as in in the past month, <laughs> in these current times. Um, but McDonald's breakfast always gets me. Um, and then I took a nap because I had to wake up really early <laughs> to drive Jake to work. And then when I woke up, I played with Ollie outside until Jake came home and we played with our new neighbor girl who is so cute. She's so cute and she loves Oliver. She's fearless because some kids are terrified of dogs and it makes no sense to me except that it does because their parents did an awful job raising them and taught them to be scared of dogs but yeah literally a grown woman down the street like ran from Oliver the other day because she was so scared and like slammed her front door and this other girly that is also our neighbor is just like giving him treats, giving him a ball, playing with him with sticks, telling him not to eat grass. Like it's just, it's amazing what uh, nature and nurture will do. If you're a psych major, you know. Um, I called with my grandpa this day, so I marched that. And then we went to Home Goods with Oliver to do something. And then I think I vacuumed this day, but majorly tidied up filmed some YouTube videos. I made some bracelets this night for my dad for Father's Day. And then watched more cooking shows, edited some YouTube videos. I think I was editing my Sims video, which was a feat. It was a feat. If you're interested in that, go check it out because it took me forever. Um, and then I just ended the night by cuddling Jake. I did want to mention I pulled 
all my icons basically from SPC. I didn't have any ice icons, which was actually kind of a challenge, but I ended up having plenty of white icons from SPC as well as plain black ones from SPC. I just made sure they weren't shiny at all or like sparkly. There's some like black hollow ones I know, but I only pulled the like regular type. Um, but yeah, on Thursday, went to my parents' house this day and hung out. My mom and I took the dogs, Oliver and Mochi, on a little walk, and then we did play pickleball. My parents were in a pickleball tournament this Saturday, this week that I'm like talking about, and they ended up not even getting past the first round, but my dad is really, really good and my mom is not because... She doesn't play pickleball, but like she's athletic. She's just like, it's hard like you to just pick up a sport. And like when we play pickleball, we give like the woman usually unlimited serves. So my mom and I are just unlimited serving. But yeah, so my, our friend Alex came over and my parents were there, me and Jake, and we were all just playing pickleball. I actually killed on the court this day. I got like all 11 points for me and my dad's team at the last game. And he was like so shocked. And we played against Jake and Alex, who are fierce competitors. So I was very proud of myself. And then me, Alex and Jake, my parents had plans this night. So me, Alex and Jake went and got some Thai food. And then we got our favorite ice cream place called Carmen's in the Montgomery County, Maryland area. So we just hung out with him and then I came home and just planned this night on Friday. I was super tired again this day. Are we even surprised? Uh, we took Oliver to the dog park and then ran some errands. Um, yeah, I think we took him to the dog park and then dropped him off and then we ran errands. And then I spent the day cleaning because... Um, our friend and my father-in-law were coming over the next day and our house was like turning into a disaster pit. So I cleaned so much this day and it's been clean ever since and it's very nice and luxurious. I literally just hung out all night with Ollie and then just watched cooking shows with Jake to end the night. On Saturday, my period came and I was like, oh, this is why I've been feeling like crap all week. And I do know because I track my stuff, my cycle and stuff, but I always hope that I'm pregnant. And so I'm just like, yeah, I'm pregnant, whatever. But then I'm never freaking pregnant. And I'm just like, oh, my period's here. I'm sad now. And then I've just been in my feels. And I talk about it in my vlog I'm filming right now. When I'm currently filming this, it'll go up either this week or next week, hopefully for you guys, because I am going to Florida. So I don't really know my my upload schedule right now. But um, I've just been in the feels about that stuff. But my father-in-law came over this day and we hung out. He picked up our friend Juwan and they were all over. Um, we watched like the soccer match and then we took Oliver on a really long walk. It started to get really, really hot this week. The current week I'm in, the week after this, it's so miserably hot. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys in America could maybe agree with that because there's no way this is the only area that's way too freaking hot. Um, but we walked Oliver to like where we have H Mart and CVS and Kung Fu Tea and Subway and like a haircut place and a nail place. And they have a Tutti Fruity there. And we finally tried it and it was so freaking good. I haven't had Froyo in so long. Like remember the Froyo craze before my family and I were talking about it the next day at our Father's Day dinner. And we think cupcakes is what took out Froyo. But like for a minute, it was like popping. It was like a healthy dessert option. It was so good. I literally could die for it. It was so good. It's also really nice to take like a long walk and then get that as a treat in the middle of it. Like so worth. Def need some Froyo scripts. And then we just hung out with Jawan. We played Monopoly on the Switch together for quite some time. And then we took a break, went to Wawa's together, and then we came home and played Mario Golf, which I'm just honestly a beast at Mario Golf. Like, yeah, they usually beat me in Mario Party. They'd probably beat me in Mario Kart. They did, Jawan beat me in Monopoly. I beat Jake in Monopoly, but Jawan beat me in Monopoly. But like Mario Golf is my shit. I'm so good at it. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's like accuracy. I don't know. 
I don't know. On Sunday, it was Father's Day, so I marched that. And then we, of course, went to my parents' house to hang out with them. My father-in-law did us a great, kind gesture this year and was like, hang out with me Saturday. You can hang out with your fam Sunday. And I just love when that happens because having your in-laws plus your own parents, sometimes it gets confusing of who to hang out with, especially in their, if, if they're in the same area. So when they make it easy like that, it's very nice. Um, I did gifts with my dad. I literally got him every single pickleball item I have seen at Home Goods for the last six months. It was a lot. And whenever I give my, my parents gifts, I'm just scolded. I'm told to not ever get gifts again, to not waste my money, like blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, guys, I like gift giving, like, please. It's just, it's such tiger parents, tiger mom shit. If you know, you know. If you don't, just be very lucky you don't. Um, Jake grilled for my whole fam. My cousins came over, my aunt, my grandpa, my brother, and my sister-in-law. And we grilled steaks and corn, we as in Jake. Um, and then my mom made some other sides as well. We had lobster rolls, which were so good. Um, and then we had dinner with the fam. Jake and I got Carmen's after because we were craving because we were in town. We were like, why the heck not? And then we just finished the night off once we got home by watching some cooking shows. Are you surprised? So this is what the spread looks like in full. This is where the footage gets a little bit weird because I was talking through this outro. So it's a little slow. So I just tried to speed it up a little by, you know, doing some transitions. But this is the spread in full. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. I did color block this week. I think it turned out really, really nice. All around the Apple Blossom Prints Kit was super easy to use. Um, and I really enjoyed using the kit from them and I'm excited to use my honor kit from them as well which is why I purchased this one so yeah I think this is a really fun alternative father's day kit for me exclusively unless y'all have artsy dads out there um I think the ice foil looks super nice I did use custom scripts throughout the spread from Planta Hannah you can use Laura 15 to save 15 percent off or mention me in the notes and you'll get my freebie same thing as with Plan With Me stickers. I use some overlays and other things, of course, throughout the spread from both of their shops. Um, this is what I have left over of the kit, which will be kindly destashed to someone else. And I did have lots of full boxes ex extra, leftover, extra. Um, so yeah, there's still like a whole spreads worth of things in this D sash, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.